You'll have to put in it. You'll have to put up with me for a while, though. I'm afraid because I can only get out of this body when it's tur. Uh, never mind that actually. I suppose I might as well try to settle in immediately. So tell me, creatures, what do you call yourselves? What are your names? You're larvae, correct? I'm not a caterpillar, and and I don't know what's going on. I'm confused. This is too weird. But you're some kind of thing in Mark's body that can talk out of his mouth. But you're not him. That is correct, little creature. I'm surprised you followed what I was saying. So, well, seeing as you're a youngling and an undeveloped and an underdeveloped one at that. But my, I'm being so rude. I haven't let my host speak in ages. Do whoa, button hit. Anyways, he was telling Marty he could talk. <laughs> huh? Well, I couldn't speak. You were doing that, weren't you? Don't you? Don't do that. Get out of me. I'm afraid I can't do that. Oh, host, I need to perpetuate myself in this plane. And the bond I just made with this body is rather permanent, so you and I will be together for a long time. You'll just have to get used to having me sharing your body. My name's Rohoff, by the way. A pleasure it is to make your... I think that's supposed to be what a pleasure it is to make your acquaintance larval human inhabitants of this world. You two seem understandably distressed. If you want, I can be silent for a while. I need to mull over my thoughts anyway. I suggest you two rest a bit and calm down. You can talk more later. You shut up, you weird thing. I... I need to go and lie down. Marduk, I don't know what exactly just happened or what it all means, but I think we should head back to the village now. So come on, let's go. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Rohoff, an alien, um, kind of took control of Marduk's body. And... Although he still has some control over it. He... The bo the the alien Rohoff can take total control of Marduk's body if he wants to, but um, for the time being, Marduk and him share it. Whoa, button stick. <sighs> Phew, what a weird thing that has happened today. I need to go home now, so uh, bye, Marduk. I hope that nothing bad happens to you because of that thing. And um, from now on, I will be reading all the dialogues just because I feel like I was depriving you guys the first couple of episodes. Um, so, yeah. We'll go from here. You, you weird thing in me. Can you hear me if I talk? Obviously. I have ears and sure your brain now, so I detect anything that you can, including your internal monologues, might I add. But due to my incredible magic power and dominance in this relationship, you can know nothing of my mental activities. Aha! Huh? Never mind. You want me to ask you something, though, huh? Host? I suppose I'll do my best to explain. I mean, we will surely be spending years together from now on, so... It's best to be on good terms with one another. Well, I just wanted to know what you are. What are you? Hmm. Despite his apparent simplicity, that's one of the most complex of queries you could have come up with. In short, I am a healer. Yes, that should do. I'm a magic user of incredible skill, spellcasting in light and elemental recovery magic and so on. And having your body as I am, I'll be able to lend you some of my power and any abilities you might face in the future. Keep that in mind. But also, since I know that wasn't a satisfactory answer to my question, I am, uh, an angel? Is that what you call them here? You mean one of them things from the sky? Yes, I think. That's the word I got for what I am when I searched your brain's vocabulary lection. Anyway, a being from the sky. Yes, that seems apt. I came here because, um, I don't know if I should tell you. I can't see what harm it would do, but I also can't see what good it would do. So it's better to be safe than sorry. Oh, so you won't even tell me why you're in me? Um, I am in you, as you know, as you so nicely put it, because I had no choice. As I said, my body died when my, uh, blast, no word for it, flying thing crashed here, and I was so very close to having my soul wrenched from this plane of existence. Oh, what luck, I thought, when you entered my, uh, flying thing. I do apologize, but the opportunity was just too good to ignore. And when you're in pure soul form, you don't have much reasoning capability anyway. I still have a lot of business to attend to on this plane, though. Yes. Why well, I'm here on this planet of yours relates to that. But I need to regenerate a bit. Dying really weakened me, which is understandable. I'll lie low for a w bit here before mentioning anything to you. So it's best you just accept my solemn, stony silence all on matters of my past, person, or purpose for the next few years and don't ask questions. Well, you talk too much, Thing. My name's Rohoff, not Thing, and, um, I do go on a bit, don't I? 
but I'm the only one here with the knowledge enough to provide any kind of exposition. Tsk. Anyway, I'm going to probably be rather silent for the next few years. I still, I'll still be in your body, but I'll keep to myself and work on regaining some of my power. During that time, I'm sure you'll get used to me, though, and I to you. Yes, it'll be a veritable frenzy of family friends, friendly fun. I'm sure. We'll have all sorts of crazy zany shenanigans, antics, and hijinks, probably. Well, sounds fun. Yes, indeed, but no rest, host. We can't be having us being sleepy and lethargic tomorrow. It's probably going to be a long day. And that's the 5.30 mark. <clears throat> I think I'll just finish this up, and then we'll go. Balthasar. That's a unique name. Rohoff escaped, you know. He flew away in one of the Galloper's mice. Yalort. Yeah, knows where he went. He needs to sanctuary Sang Sang Sangnary What? I don't know. Hopefully you guys can read that because I can't tell what it is. We'll be burned. Let's burn him. Burn his he him what? Oh my god. Face off and also his Pratt and robe. His white robe. His Detro Whitey Robe robe. It must burn. Burn I like it. I find it goes well with yellow, but only if you want it to. If you don't believe it does, then it doesn't. Just like bad smells. You only think they're bad if you're told they're bad. I don't like bad smells. Ignoring how these caterpillars uttered what they're trying to say, I do agree. Rohoff needs to be perished. He cannot be left to roam those loose with the knowledge he possesses. If he rallies enough of a resistance, which it seems he's trying to do, then why, sirs? We're well and truly buggered twice in once ways till sundown, sunup, and then some. Yes, kill him. Kill the tracer. Let his blood run free, his flesh turn cold, his motor functions degrade and cease, and his entire being become uncertain. His body, his shell, his soul, wanderer. Yes. Oh, I do so want to see his flesh cold and crawling with a million maggots slowly chewing, chewing, chewing on the rot. Yes. Yes. Warwick, you're something creepy, man. And yet I think two might months What? Oh my god. Well, the light in the sight of the fright of the white blight as I fight and smite him from this plane. Bloody end. Why, Gaspar, that's awfully poetic of you. I'm amazed. I'll Harry well snow you a poet. Uh, I'll Harry well show you a poetic maze. I'll trap you in it and scream, tough and blood and curdling screams as you try to, in vain to evade my pain, you'll sh be sure to gain. You'd slowly go insane, and I just laugh, laugh, Morgan, laugh, tripping hard. What? Wow. <clears throat> what are you talking about? Shut up anyway, it's irrelevant. But we do need to address this Rohoff pro problem. Master, what thank you? We should do away with him, Mize. Yes? What's the M for? But how do we go about it? Yes, underlings. The deserter, the traitor Rohoff, is left to run free. If the deserter, the traitor Rohoff, is left to run free, though, we are alone. He, though he alone could pose no serious threat to us, he could gain the alliance of others, which he's frustratingly good at doing. We have to do away with him and quickly. He's the only one who knows. So while with him gone, we'll be safe as long as we can make nothing clear until it's too late for them. One of us should probably go stop him, but who? Any volunteers? I like volunteers. They taste like cherries, but only if that's what you believe. If you prefer bananas, love and luck always taste a bit banana-y. Banana that's a weird word to say. Banana-y. banana, -y. banana -nan -nan -y. I'm not Charlie well going, because I boggin' well can't be arsed. I'll go, yes. If Rolf is going to dry, die, I would deserve much... I would derive much perverse satisfaction from seeing the fear of his cycloptic face before he meets the ever reaper yes i'll drink up his shock his horror and it would fuel me it's what i live my life for to see others and theirs i can't have enough ends so i'll take my chances to see this one i hope it's slow and painful the elation i get from such kills is unmatched by anything yes just thinking about makes me <sighs> Yes, you're creepy, and I can't say we'll miss you while you're gone, so it'd be best if you did go. We all win that way. Take the battleship and flow up, follow Rohoff's trail. It should be easy enough to detect where he went and go deal with him. Now go. Yes, my master. Uh, I think I'm going to have to make another video. That was a long dialogue, but I'm already at the 950 mark, so um, 
yeah see you catch you guys next time